Is it live? Oh, it is live. Oh, shoot, it is. Ugh. Toma! Pick this guy online! Toma! Toma is so cute! He's so perfect! I don't know if this thing is he's cute or he's so pretty. He is he. Oh my goodness, Toma! Okay, he's got a shield. He's got pyro infusion? Or is it just like. I said like a Shingcho. Pyro Shingcho? The heck? Give it. That right now. I want that one. That man right there, I want that. I can retire Diona. Let's go. At least I, I hope I can retire Diona. Hopefully he heals. I don't know. Also, don't forget to catch me live at twitch.tv slash phillysky. There, you can catch more of this fangirling action. All right. I'm gonna go fangirl some more. Come quick, or we gotta get down to the market. They slash the prices on fish around this time of day. Oh, and if you find something that you just can't do without, I'll help you haggle the price down. Anything for you, Toma! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Toma's ready to join the team. It sounds like he's pretty good at bargaining. Well, at your service, my lady. Oh, <laughs> Toma! So, Houston, you definitely know Toma inside out by now. Why don't you take the lead here and introduce Look at how pretty! Yeah, Look at his eyelashes! Been. You know, players have already seen Look quite a bit of Toma eyes. throughout the Inazuma storyline. And though we met Toma in Inazuma, he was actually born in Mondstadt. Oh. Yeah, I know. Mondstadt, so, boy! He's a well-known fixer in Inazuma, as well as chief retainer of the Kamisato clan. Look gotcha. at his attacks! As the clan's housekeeper, he looks like he's, he's gonna be fun to play. Housekeeping skills. You know, stuff like trimming. You guys know how I look super hard hitting characters. And, you know, like some even say like how um Zhang Li's attacks hit really hard. And oh, Kaching, but just Kaching okay. and Zhang Li their attacks feel very weighty. <laughs> His attacks look yeah, very weighty, I like when them. It comes to fighting, Toma is also a reliable teammate. He holds a pyro vision and wields a pole arm as his weapon. Oh, nice. he's so cool! He uses his skill, blazing I hope he heals. Toma deals AOE pyro damage. Please heal. This skill also applies pyro to Toma and unleashes a defensive blazing barrier. Why would you What's apply Toma to, your, the Toma to yourself? Toma to yourself? damage pyro. can stack. When Toma unleashes his elemental burst, Crimson Oyoroi, oh, so, it looks like a, it looks like pyro Shincho. With roaring fires that deal pyro damages are increased by a certain percentage of Toma's. I'm just like HP. ooh. Okay. Toma. Like a lot of Toma's talents mm. are centered around shields. And given that a vision represents its owner's ambition, you could say that Toma's ambition is protecting people. <laughs> oh, that nice? that's cute. Oh, so nice. <laughs> and with his elemental burst, not only does that's Toma protect cute. his party members with his shield, but he also provides extra power to the active character. And on that note, let's move on to version 2.2's event wishes. <laughs> All right, sounds let's good. Let's do it. I'm scared. This the, I'm scared of this part. Actually, why and am I scared? Oh. Child Tartaglia will be appearing in his event wish rerun. Speaking of new things, uh, uh, we'll also be seeing lots of new weapons landing in version 2.2. That that. First, I we want have that. New five star bow. Or the award, it all as cool. well as Wait. several new four-star weapons, <gasps> including the claymore, Akuomaru, oh, it's not a sword. the polearm, wavebreaker's oh, oh, fin, and the bow, Moton's moon. Oh, I was about to say, is that a sword? Oh, oh, it's not a sword. Like oh, he said, looks so nice on Shingcho. <laughs> yeah. It was a sword. The new character Aww. Weapons, also... I'm not. I saw a chest. I'm ready for that chest, though. Give me those primos. Dare to visit Surumi Island. Mm. Look at his little, hey, his little hands. Hey, we're right? Uh, Thomas, little hands. What we chase after. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers will be encountering some new monsters in the upcoming version too. Ooh. Let's take a look at their gameplay. Bark, 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 bark. What is that? Bark, bark, bow wow. Bark, bark. Looks like a bow wow. Geo. Okay, there's Electro Geo. Ele okay, Electro again. And Geo again, all right. We're the little baby ones! Aww. And most importantly, Rift Hound Whelps and Rift Hounds have oh, wait, a very that's so unique cute. attack mechanic. 
Once their attacks the little paper that um, Lumine is holding says Genshin Impact well on it. Such a nice little detail. Will be continually affected it's such a by cute detail. It's like a little status. Genshin on it. Affected Aww, characters I like that. Will lose HP every second. A what? And even the characters with shields will not be immune to this corrosion effect. What in the corrosion is this? What? Why the? Why are we bringing back the Abyss? Hold up. Scary, but I'm sure we can handle them. <laughs> why are we bringing back the Abyss corrosion yeah. again? And, well, well, they really said use healers. <laughs> In the next they want to stop we'll using shields. The events coming our way in 2.2. Next up, we'll be revealing the events coming in version 2.2. Je free Jin the Yan. The event on our list is called Labyrinth Warriors. Hey yo. Okay. All right. I'm seeing a theme here. I want to build her. Labyrinth was also in the title of the version trailer. Given that the Fatui are not the most welcome guests in Inazuma, you can't help but wonder what he's doing there. Totally. Being yeah, sussy. I mean, the same for Shin Yan too. Yeah. Sussy Fatui. Rock star to Inazuma. I guess we'll have to wait until being the a sussy boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sussy and patooey in boy. Storyline will also have new event gameplay. Let's dive into some of the details. Sussy <laughs> As I mentioned before, yes, Charles and Inazuma being a sussy baka, indeed. <laughs> yes, of course. And each level will have multiple rooms to explore. Random All monsters right. will appear in the rooms, and travelers will randomly obtain different items after defeating the monsters. Kakomi! Shikifuda. Damage replicas. Kakomi height. Token. We'll definitely need a scholar or someone to guide us. Ooh. Yep, you're Sumeru? right. In fact, we'll be pairing up with a scholar from Sumeru. Sumeru! The event is divided oh. into three phases. All right. First is investigative surveys. Travelers can place up to three prospectors <gasps> at once. Primo. Our next event to expect Kazu, in version huh? 2.2 .2 is called Tuned to the World Sounds. Wow, that sounds poetic. Yeah. Yeah, it's because Kazuo is involved, obviously. My baby <laughs> Kazuo! Yeah, okay. My baby! Anyway. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you <laughs> pro mode? Jumping right in, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, no. I've done this before. I'm I'm good. Hey, is that A holding a liar? It. That's cool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But that is such a nice scenery to play. Oh, I know. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this pro difficulty is. No, so I failed! But as you can Traveler! see, uh, uh, the event is initiated by an Inazuman florist named Sakuya. That flower During looking kind of event, sussy. Is it just me? Can submit the materials Sakuya requests daily to obtain it's a bit of a some sussy special flower. seeds from her. We can then plant these saying. seeds in a pack flower of value sus. luxury. It looks like we'll be seeing some customized flower stands appearing in our Is this a permanent? You bet. But Anyone know, know that after the event ends, the flower seeds from this event will also disappear. So be sure okay, to it's not permanent. The before they're gone. <laughs> well, that answered my question. It is not permanent. <laughs> and besides all these events, we will also be seeing another return of the Leyline Overflow event. Yes. During the event, we will have three nice. chances daily to collect double rewards from Overflow, uh, Blossoms of Wealth, or Blossoms of Revelation. Mora, dude. Oh, I need Mora. So I'm trying to crown so many characters character, right now. Right? <laughs> Mora. Yeah, especially when you have a lot of characters to work on. In version 2.2, the new realm style, <gasps> Silken Courtyard, Finally! as well as a series of brand new Serena teapot furnishings, will become available for travelers to enjoy. Oh, Inazuma right. teapot! Inazuma vibes Finally! Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Let's wow, go! Oh my gosh, look at that sunset. It's just gorgeous. I can finally build my teapot. So beautiful. Yay. Oh, Look at this, so cool, this Sakura path. How do we get this realm style? Okay, well, once travelers have upgraded their sacred <gasps> Sakura's favor to and there's an 40, they can claim the rewards to unlock the Silken Courtyard style. Wow, level 40? <laughs> I know, right? The good news is that even while your sacred Sakura hasn't reached level 40, Wait, I need level 40! a variety of new Inazuma-styled furnishing blueprints and furnishing set blueprints in the coming version. And on that note, we'll also have a new way of collecting blueprints in version 2.2. Inside the new Surumi Island area lies a brand new type of treasure chest called Remarkable Chests. Travelers will be able to obtain blueprints by finding and opening these chests. Remarkable. <laughs> we I need level 40. We can also all new furnishing blueprints by purchasing them from Tubby the Teapot Spirit. Or by receiving them as rewards from certain world quests. We've got a speed run some re reward quests, y'all, okay? <laughs> Serena teapot system called a floating platform. Whoa. Basically, it's like a type of rock that floats in the air. Oh, that's uh, cool. Sort of like lost right from the lantern, right? 
Yeah, but with these floating platforms, we can actually set a certain height for them to float at. Oh, that's nice. And just I like, like that. Any other landform, we can place furnishings on it. And with that, that's cool. It seems like the version 2.2 special program is finally reaching its end. What? Uh, that was so I quick. Say, that was very informative. That so was too quick. Station. Well then, what do you guys think? <laughs> What did you guys think of it? That was extremely fast. That's what I think. 